Whoa. That's unusual. Uh huh. So that's. It appears like something hit it at high force. I don't know if that's a sign of a gunshot or somebody, it may be a, like a sledgehammer. You see another like heavy impact mark right there. I don't know. If you guys know what kind of damage that is, especially those of you out there, and I know that you're out there that are more familiar with the aspects of these type of stones, or these markers, I should say, they are metal. Um, let me know. But it appears to either be gunshot damage or some sort of blunt force damage. So here is our mausoleum. You can see the two sphinxes at the doorway. I believe that is a throwback to a very specific time in America. I think it was called the Egyptian craze. And you've seen it before on the channel where often people will invest huge sums of money in these like pyramid shaped mausoleums or uh, things like this. But pretty interesting, amazing work. And the names and dates of the Harpers here at the bottom. And then going up to the door here on the inside is just some epic statue work. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, it's having a real hard time focusing on its own, so I'm gonna take it in manual here for a little bit. I apologize if it's not the best. It's kind of hard trying to see the focus on this tiny little screen, but look at this amazing statue in here. And then again, the entombments are on the floor with the names and dates listed on the back here. And then on the outside, some people have left these little glass beads, these decorative beads. I'm not sure the significance of it, but it's pretty interesting. You can see the major difference from last time. And right over here is where the shoreline normally is. And turning back, you can see that thankfully the tree was strong enough up in the top section to hold up even though it looks like the bottom was rotted enough that that is the reason it fell to begin with so kind of interesting especially with those incredibly heavy winds that it has survived that's really interesting you can see among the plants here and the landscaping, some other names written. I wonder, you know what? Look at this. That's an entryway. There is a mausoleum behind there. Holy crap. How would we even get a view of that? I don't know if you can tell, but there's a definite structure there. That's a mausoleum. There's no way I'm gonna be able to look. I'm gonna have to come back here in like winter and see if we can actually, it's, they clearly have just let it go. This is actually a building. 
I wonder if I can walk up the hill and get maybe a little bit better view here. Wow, I did not think that we would find something like that. Yeah, you can see it goes into the hill. This is a hidden mausoleum that is inaccessible. There's even a... Oh no, I think that's part of it. That's actually part of the design. And... I want to be very careful here not to fall off. But yeah, it's hard to tell, but if you follow it, there literally is a mausoleum behind there. And it might have an open door like that is the crazy thing, that we could actually get back there We're going to have to come back to this one. There's yet another one with a solid metal door and Wow. You can see how elaborate, and this is permanently sealed. I can't get a very good look around. The, uh, the Humana building downtown, if you're familiar with the Humana building. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pink marble and all. Fantastic. In the, in the uh, entryway of the Humana building were two big niches with uh, Roman statues. Okay, uh, the original Roman? The real, yeah, the real thing. that's cool. That's really not behind glass, just for, yeah. Oh wow. Well, years later, it was discovered that that the Italian government claimed them as as antiquities that belonged to them. Really. And uh, he returned them. I mean, you know, there wasn't well, was, any argument about. Yeah. It. I mean, he just, just you know, I guess he thought that was the right thing to do. Yeah. I remember uh, he was an art collector. And, and I remember in the 80s, I guess, he made the headlines, at least here, for buying a Picasso for eight for $7 million. Oh, wow. And I thought, oh, my goodness. Why would he, buy, why would he pay $7 million for this piece of art? Well, within 10 years, he sold it for $49 million. So <laughs> yeah, so, that's the reason so right he there. Knew what he was doing. Yeah, that's an that's but an incredible he investment. Down. He was in his fifties. Wow, cancer. that's too bad. And, um, his uh, widow is still alive, Dottie Perry, Dottie Cherry. Wow. Um, beautiful. Huh? I mean, I haven't uh, checked it out, but I, I can't believe that, that they would have uh, had reproduction stage. Yeah, it doesn't sound like uh, the man that would do that. I don't think so. That's, they're beautiful though. Yeah. And they, heck, that's great condition. If they are original, that's amazing. I mean. Well, just, I don't think they, they weren't recently poured, let's put it that way. Uh-huh. The Frasers and the Browns of uh, Brown Foreman money were also, you know, Brown Foreman mm -hmm. distillers are also uh, tremendous benefactors to Louisville. And uh, Housley Frazier died about, I don't know, 
four years ago, maybe. Oh, really? Okay. So That's pretty great. The Fraser Historical Museum downtown. to the other entrance here. But how cool is this? a little bricked off area on the side of the store here and there's still just this little entrance here I really wish I would have been filming when I was driving in I'll take you guys over and walk by it just to show how close this mausoleum is to the actual driving road here. So this is the main entryway. And this is barely wide enough for my car. Not sure. This has a name on it. It seems like it's not in the right place. Huh. Very odd. There are just huge, huge chunks that have come off of this over the years. And unfortunately, the stained glass is broken in this one as well. Although, it's kind of an odd look to it. I don't know what would have caused that damage, so if you think you know, make sure to list it in the comments. The dumpster is right next to this. I don't know if they're trying to like clean it out. I don't think it's actually unlocked. No. Unfortunately, well, it looks like we might be able to get a look inside. Let's see, it's not going to be very good. Let's 
also a little strange. Uh, I don't know if there is a project going on here. On the other side, the window looks exactly the same. But when we looked inside, you can kind of see that all this stuff was just in there. Ladders and it looked like they was actually being used as storage. But it may just be that there's a restoration project being done on it. And that's, they're just keeping everything in there while it's being done. But it seems old enough to be somewhat unlikely. That's really weird. Oh, this is weird. I think there aren't any actual more graves this way. See somebody's a uh, lost bike here. It's definitely some sort of little structure there in the woods. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It has anything to do with anything, though. No. Oh, wow. I'm not going to go all the way down here, but how cool is this? It is open, too. That's creepy. The prospects are not looking too good, but that is awesome looking down there. That's definitely welded shut. I'm sure they wouldn't have wanted us going down that way anyway, but it looks incredible. Some really amazing stained glass over here. I guess you can't. Oh, there, that's showing up a little bit better now. Well, we're gonna keep driving around. There's another small mausoleum down the way here. And if I run in to the other person, I might have to ask him about it. But so far, I don't know where they disappeared to, but it's a huge place, so it could be anywhere. Alright, there's one thing I forgot to check out last time that I wanted to look at real quick. Was this one lone, I don't even know if it's a graveyard. Oh, that scared me. Look at somebody did. So stupid. They put a head. That is incredible how real that looks when it's dirty. When it was brand new, I, I guarantee it looked fake. Now it actually looks decent, so. Yeah, I'm not touching it. I can't really tell if it is a grave or a gravestone marker or a fence post. I'm gonna go but it's probably a marker that's just worn down over the years. But you can see it's directly attached to the side of the wall here. And so, makes it kind of interesting when trying to tell the difference. But otherwise, another unusual discovery. We found baby doll hands, plenty of underwear, and now a fake severed human head so 
you never know what you're gonna find in these places. And so, often when people doubt the things that I say, I just say, you know, if you've been to as many as I've been to, you'd probably experience the things that I've experienced. Let's do a quick walk around this retaining wall. Just wanted to show everybody. You can see what amazing work it is, you know. And there's obviously two different sections. And this one you could technically walk right on. I don't want to get too close. I think this is no longer in use, but if you can see the massive hornet's nest right there. That's incredible. I suppose you would know right away if it actually was in use. And it's just right in between the plexiglass and the stained glass. That's really surprising. I am incredibly happy that that it's no longer active. I think you would know right away though.